Hello everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial. In this little tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a um, performance settings uh, GUI in your Roblox Studio. And before this video starts, I just want to say that the quality of my video should be way better now because I have a new PC and that should be really good for streaming and recording. So yeah, let's start. What we're going to do is we're going to add a screen GUI and start GUI, rename it to settings. And we're going to add a text button to it, which will open up the settings frame. So let's put it right here. And what we're going to do is rename it to open settings. And we will add a UI corner to it. What this does is it just gives it a nice little corner uh, that rounds it. And I really like it. So we're going to set its size to 0 0.2, 0.0, 0.2, and now then you can uh, resize it however you want so that it's converted to scale instead of using the plugin. So what I'm going to set the text to settings and make sure that text scale is checked. And then I'm going to add a frame, which will be the frame that has the settings. Let's put it right here. And I'm going to set its size to, again, 0 0.2 comma 0 comma 0 0.2 comma 0. And then I'm going to resize it however I want. And it's going to still be converted to scale. Now we're going to rename the frame to settings frame and we're gonna make we're gonna add a ui corner to it so let's just add the same one and set the corner radius to 0 0.05 comma 0 and now what i'm gonna be doing is add a text label or text button sorry or just duplicate the open settings one because it looks pretty good and put it inside of the settings frame and then i'm going to change the background color to background color I mean to something like a nice a nice uh, gray and I'm going to change the text color to a nice white and I'm going to change the font to a font that I like for me it's gonna be for for, for Doken one uh, so I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that font for do for Doka one and I'm going to put it right here now this is going to be for shadows so let's set the text to shadows on and then we're gonna put it right here this is going to be the setting for the shadows and we'll rename this to shadows and what we're going to be doing is we're going to make this frame invisible by unchecking the visible property and add a script to the open settings button. And inside of the script, we're going to type local uh, local frame is equal to uh, script dot parent dot parent dot settings frame and script dot parent dot mouse button one click dot uh, mouse button one click can connect function function. And we're gonna do script, we're gonna do frame dot visible equals not frame dot visible. And now if you go ahead and play the game, you should see that whenever you press the settings button, it closes or opens. Let me just close these. And uh, for some reason, I can't see my mouse. And uh, let me try to replay the game. That's a bit of a problem. Okay, I can see my cursor now. Uh, okay, it's loaded. So, if I go ahead and open up the settings, as you can see, it opens or closes. So that's really cool. Let me close off the chat and stop. And what we're gonna do um, is make sure that inside of your lighting, make sure that uh, global shadows is checked. 
Now, inside of your shadows button, or let's just put a script inside of the settings frame. So let's add a local script. We're gonna rename it to main. And what we're gonna do is local shadows, shadows is equal to script.parent.shadows. And then shadows.mouse button, dot mouse button one click on connect function. And game dot lighting dot global shadows is equal to false or is equals not game dot lighting dot global shadows and then what we're gonna be doing is shadows dot text is equal to and let's see what we set the text to so let's set the text so we have the text to shadows on so we're gonna change this to off or just off uh what we're going to be doing is if game dot lighting dot global shadows dot uh, is equal equal to false then we're going to do this shadows on and then copy this uh and in here we're gonna put an else paste that again and set this to off and now if you go ahead and play the game let's add some parts or some stuff to so we can see the shadows i'm also going to change the shadow softness to zero and so we can see the shadows correctly and I think I'm going to change the studio settings rendering to level 21 so that, so that the quality is better. So I'm going to scale this up so we can see some shadows. And I'm going to put this right here, this right here, and this over here. And another one right here. So, if we go ahead and play the game now, it should turn off and turn on the shadows locally. So, let's wait for this to load. And as you can see, we are loaded in. Let's make sure that our quality is set to high. So, if we go ahead and open up the shadows, as you can see now, the shadows are turned off. And we can turn them on and off. So, that's really cool. What we're going to do now is we have this working. Let me just make sure this is invisible or let's make it visible for now. So the there is another thing that can uh, fix sunray, the uh, performance of the player, which is the sunrays effect. So if you have some nice lighting in your game, you should have something called sunrays. Now, let's firstly see, let's firstly turn off reflections. As you can see, uh, let me just turn off my UI. If I add a part that has reflections, if I set its uh, material to metal, and I change its color to maybe like a this color, as you can see, we can see some reflections. So these might make your game lag. It's not really reflections, but it's it looks like reflections. So this might make your game lag. So to fix this, just duplicate this and rename this to uh, reflections, reflections. And then we're gonna change the text to reflections uh, on. And in here, we're gonna have a variable for uh, for the reflections so local reflections is equal to game is equal to script dot parent dot reflections and in here we're gonna do script we're gonna do reflections dot mouse button one click on connect function and if game dot lighting dot ref dot um, environment diffuse scale is equal equal to and then what it what number you should put here? 
let me let me tell you we want to copy the current uh, environment if you scale which it should have set to something more than a zero or else this won't work make sure you have it at one, at one or 0 0.5 or anything is equal equal to the number that you have is equal equal to one then what we're going to be doing is reflections dot text is equal to uh reflection reflections off and then we're gonna do game dot lighting dot uh environment diffuse scale is equal to zero and then game dot lighting dot environment diffuse uh dot environment specular scale uh, is equal to zero else copy this entire thing put it right here and change this to on and this to one and this to one and now if you go ahead and play the game you should see that when we turn off reflections we're not going to see reflections so we are loaded into the game as you can see this thing has some reflections and when we turn this off as you can see it does not have reflections anymore and it looks pretty ugly to be honest so you can turn them off and on and uh, shadows which i think is a better way of saving some performance and we're gonna check if there is something that might reduce um, the FPS of the player. So there is, um, yeah, I don't think there is more except technology, which you can't change uh, from a local script for some reason. So I think, yeah, or maybe there are some effects. Okay, so let's uh, remove the depth of field. If you don't know what a depth of field is, if you go ahead and stop the game and add a depth, depth of field effect in the lighting, as you can see it gives a nice blur to the game. Uh, when there is something like really far, it gives it a blur. And this it is really performance heavy because if you go ahead and play the game, this is this reduces performance quite a bit because if i go ahead and play the game it's, it will make me lag and it, it might make other players lag so let's say the player does not want the depth of field effect you can just duplicate this put it right here and rename this to depth depth of field and what we're going to do is change the text to depth of field off or on. And we're, maybe let's add a, some spaces between each uh, word like this. Or maybe that was... Okay, like that. And copy the text and... Bruh. Copy the text, and in here, you want to do local depth, depth of field is equal to script.parent dot depth of field. Now, depth of field dot mouse button one click, call connect function, and if game dot lighting dot depth of field dot enable is equal equal to true then you want to make sure that it's set to true and we're going to do depth of field dot text is equal to and paste in the current text and set this to f to off and game dot lighting dot depth of field dot enabled is equal to false and then in here you want to put an else and just copy this paste it right here and set this to true and this to on and now if you go ahead and play the game again 
it's gonna work so let's wait for the game to load and it's loaded as you can see we have a nice uh, depth of field effect going on and if we turn turn it off as you can see we don't have the, the effect anymore and if we turn it on we have the effect we can turn off reflections shadows and this will save a lot of performance in your game and maybe you want to turn off the atmosphere i don't think this is going to make you lag though so just don't turn off the atmosphere yeah i'm pretty sure it won't do anything it won't affect the performance so that's gonna be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe drop a like on the video and i'll see you all in the next one bye